Okay guys, uh, welcome to the channel Wingfoil underscore Mallorca and Frederick Ekemar and today we're in Campastilla, it's dark on the horizon but we still have around 11 knots so it's time to go in and today we have a special treat <laughs> We are actually going in with the 1201. It, it arrived today and it will be a nice thing to go in and see how that works. So I'm keeping the same same equipment. I've only changed the uh, foil, the front wing, to find out exactly what does the front wing add to the ride. I went in with the idea of getting a late first session on the 1201 on the day it arrived. Full of anticipation of this new art proof front wing. But the wind god was not on my side and the wind died on me and well you know how it is guys some days you just have more hope than wind a few days later it's a time for another session we've had few fewer windy days than normal so we are all very anxious to get into the water Thank Adrian Roper and Axis for arranging so I could borrow this new Art Pro 1201 front wing and three different skinnies to be able to do this video. Axis have made it possible for me to do extensive testing with these foils and then present the result to you to give you ideas, inspiration of what they can bring to, to your riding. Ultimately, to help you find material to improve and have more fun on each session. I did before the, some, some rides with the, uh, the 325P, my normal setup, and just changed the 1201, and that was fine. It was lively, turned very fast, so it was just it was a good, enjoyable ride. It wasn't that fast as I expected, so I'm having some more hopes that with the skinny, the 365, 55, we'll get some more speed today. All right, let's get in the water. Axis had the following objectives when they set out to develop the new 1199 that eventually evolved into the whole new series Art Pro. I covered the story behind the making of the 1201 and the Art Pro series in an earlier video. Link is down in the description for you to watch it later. Here are the points they set out to meet. Great bottom end, endless glide, fast and nippy feel, unparalleled large span turning and control, great bridge control. Now, did they do that? I mean, is it even possible? If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to support me and get my videos first of all, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell. This is a great way to support my channel and my work to make more videos. In my channel, I have about 65 videos on, regarding wing foiling. If you want to check them out, head to wingfoil underscore Mallorca. The Art Pro 1201 is really a very nice wing. It surprised me how really easy I got up on foil. It rides smooth and at a good speed. I was curious how it would handle lower speed, but there was no problem with the stall speed. I could dig myself out of, of almost any situation much easier than with the art foils. I said in my early video that it fills the gap between the HPS 1050 and the art 1099. I still stand by that. It comes up on foil as easy as the 1050, but it's faster and have better glide. Perfect for days of 9 to 13, also days to ride waves all day. Hey Frederick, um, yeah. Um, just talking about the 1201 and the new skinnies. Uh, I guess we'll get straight into the 1201. Obviously, that's the foil I did the record on. So, first thing on my list here: um, lift to glide ratio. Um, now, easiest way to describe it, you know, we got the ART 1099, um, 1201 ART Pro, 
and then the 1300 pump and glide. Now these these are sort of the three wings that people will be downwinding. Um, people will start on the 1300, potentially move to the 1201, and then maybe maybe we're riding the 1099, but we'd move maybe back to the 1201 for a little bit easier glide. Um, but looking at those three wings, we we'll compare them. Um, the 1099, I've pumped for an hour. 1201, I've pumped for three hours. Um, so just with that in mind, um, it's been like a three times the amount that you can get out of a wing um, just for an extra 100 mil of, of span. Um, the new foil section, obviously breaches tips amazing. Um, a lot of people have really, really shown that it's very possible um, so that's very cool to see feeling what I felt when I did the pump record is just the amazing glide and it doesn't have the resistance at the 1300 so first impressions of the 1201 after maybe 15 minutes of riding even though it's very slow wind so it's around maybe 10 now and the 1201 delivers you could you can pump it up it responds well and it gives good lift and not surprisingly at 120 centimeters it's very stable so I noticed what the 12-1 brings to the party. With a 1099, it's just short of one thing can't get up a 10 knot. This one can. So this is just good promise. Really nice. Uh, we got a storm arriving. Another storm arriving here in Mallorca. I can hear the thunder in the distance. But we just keep going, right? Until, well, if this doesn't go any lightning and stuff, then we have to get up. Okay, let's do some more riding. The 1201 runs really smooth, it runs great, wing foiling in chop, riding waves on a downwind and in the surf. It pretty much does it all, this wing. However, the size would implicate it's so big, big and slow for the more demanding rides where you need more speed in stronger wind and in bigger waves. Then we turn to the rest of the front wings in the series Art Pro that will be released in the near future. There we will find more front wings that are more suited to faster riding, harder carving and freestyle. As the 1201 is a big wing, it was extra interesting to find out what Axis meant by developing new, thinner, faster rear wings. I have tried it with a 325-62P, which is not really a big rear wing from start, to compare with the three skinnies Axis just released. 365-55, 360 360-50 and the 350-45. There have been a lot of riding to get to know what they all bring to the, to the, the riding. And it is clear that the 1201 is a downwind, low wind, a big heavy guy's weapon. But for a rider of 75 kilo, it's even more fantastic. It gives you just more of everything. It gets up on foil earlier, it glides longer and it turns easier. If you compare to the 1099, the 1201 is really a lot smoother and comes up a lot earlier and easier. I did some control rides with my 1099 that had several hundred rides on. After I've ridden most of the 1201 for the last months, it was a real surprise how the 1099 behaved. It required a lot more board speed to feel it engaging and a lot more wind to get it up on foil. The difference in size of these two foils are not that big, but the handling sure was. The 1099 was also a bit rougher to ride, not as smooth. A bit faster though, yes. The 1099 would be great from about 12 knots, the 1201 already from maybe 9 or 10 knots. And recent rides even lower than that with the new Vayu Aura X. With a very nice wing I have started testing and you can have a look at it here. A video about that Aura X is in the making, staying tuned for that one. Another big improvement after getting used to the 1201 and the ease of recovering if a wingtip breaches, it was an abrupt wake up to how sensitive the 1099 is to breaching. More or less all the times I pushed our wingtips out of the water, I fell. The 1201 just ran along and there were no real disturbance if the tips breached the water during a jibe or attack turn. Big plus in my book. Regarding the rear wings, the 325P for example gives more stability and it's easier to get up and forward with, but it's slower. The skinnies are different, they are faster, they have the same upwards angle as the progressive series but the smaller cord makes them less supportive of getting up on foil. They still turn really well, a bit looser than the progressive wear wings of course 
and as you progress down in size of the rear wings the 360-52 is even looser than the 365-55 and the 350-45 will be the fastest, thinnest and the most loose of them all. My experience is at lower wind you are better off putting on the biggest of the skins for more stability and to get up on foil easier. But for fast days on the 999 or smaller the small skin is shine. Just awesome. So the conclusion regarding the skin is it's good to have the biggest one for slower days and a smaller one for fast new king days when you really want to ride fast. And this is an advice all over the range to pair with Axis front wings, not just the Art Pro. The skinnies will make all of your foils livelier, faster and funny to ride. Mark my words, I have tried it. I do recommend the advanced fuses um, just because it brings that wing closer to the mast and it turns better. Uh, these big span wings definitely I would recommend uh, with the smaller smaller fuses um, just because it does give you that extra lift um, and extra stability that you know you can get away with riding a smaller fuse. The 1201, what do I think about it in the sea? Well, it's great. It's really good. It has that, it fills that void between the 1050, the 1300, or the 1099 and 1050. If you pair the 1201 with the skinnies, the, the performance is even better. Uh, what happens with the skinnies? They are smaller, uh, less drag, so they make the wing, the big wing, which 1201 is still a 120 meter wing. They make that wing go faster, which is very important, and it gives a very good sensation uh, when you get a wing that comes that's that big but still runs pretty. Fast. So I tried the 365, uh, 55 skinny. I'm now on the 362, 50, and the difference between these two, not super much, a little bit. The 362, 50. Yeah, I have to keep them numbers right. Runs a little bit faster, which would be one advantage of that, and it's maybe a little bit easier to move. Let's try it again. Hey! Uh, the skin is, is well worth investing in alongside with the new Art Pro series. Definitely, it will make your Art Pro series wing run better, faster, turn easier and be a lot more fun in, in all circumstances. So yes, that's a good buy. But another thing, uh, the skin is will even make your existing wing go better. I mean, you can probably pa pair the skinny with any of the HPS wings, um, DSC wings. I don't know, maybe even with the uh, with 1300 or some of the um, PNG wings to get really good fast results. That would be interesting. That's another choice I will test to go with the 1300. So, yes, good stuff, these Axis wings. I'm really happy with them. Uh, fantastic stuff. You should check them out. Okay, let's go ride again. The progressives have paired really well with the 1201, but I've also ridden the 1200, uh, 1201 with the skinnies. Absolutely loving them. I've been riding it with everything. Um, the 45 is my absolute favorite. Um, not for dock starting, but for everything else that I'm doing. So, um, even I think the, the 50 skinny is probably gonna be the favorite for most people, just for its extra glide that it gives wings, um, and it just releases all the wings to go whatever speed they feel comfortable at. Um, the tail won't be holding it back. So. I think that's where the skinnies really shine and people shouldn't be too afraid to go quite small with the skinnies because what they don't look like, you know, they don't have much to them, they also allow the front wing to go faster which means that the faster the, the tail's going, the more stability you get. Front wing is fine, glide is good, but there aren't any weights, nothing. 
Okay, so what are my thoughts after done a bunch of rides with the 1201? It's, I like it, it's nice. So I give Aiden Roper uh, a big thumbs up for that. So, in conclusion, here are the points they set out to meet for the 1201. Now, did they do that? Great bottom end, yes. Endless glide, mm, great glide at least. Fast and nippy feel, yes. Unparalleled large span turning and control. Well, it turns really good. Great beach, beach control, yes. It is a tough list to set out to complete, but they have made the Art Pro 1201 to fulfill more or less all those points. And this is only the first of the foils in the new series Art Pro. This is mind blowing, guys. I hope to be able to test a few more of the Art Pro foils for you when they set out to release them. I am also interested to have a run at some of the new foils they just released called Spitfire. See if I can get a hold of a few to test and share with you guys. I know there is a lot of interest regarding the Axis foils, so stay tuned for more info about the new foils they release uh, this year. Okay, there you have it. My thoughts and experiences with the Art Pro 1201. A downwind, low wind, long glide, big heavy gas weapon that works great for lighter riders as well. It's, it fits in just perfect between the 1050 and the 1099, which is with, with its early takeoff, it's perfect for light wind days or for lighter riders. Depending on your weight, you will get a different result with this wing. But it is a great and it's worth having in your quiver for light wind days, downwind sessions, riding waves, and for heavy guys, now there is an odd front wing good enough to ride comfortably with, even if you weigh 95 kilos or more. And that's great. I think you should give it a try. It is that good. Nearly the perfect wing for most riders to have. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the 1201 and the skin. It's thoughts, ideas, if you tried it and what it gave to your riding. <laughs> okay guys, this is Freddy Kekemak from Wingfoil underscore Mallorca signing off. Thank you for watching. And if you watch this far, you are spectacular. Write spectacular in the comments to let me know. And I will, yes, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.